Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another wonderful episode here, Jonas Podiatry. This is not the same patient that we presented yesterday. This is a different patient. Today, we will be uh, performing toe shortening procedures on both second toes on this young patient. Just to refresh everyone's memory, we were talking about the parabola yesterday. This particular patient has, as everyone can see, has, is longer, number one, than all the others, right? We always compare the second toe to the lessers. And when we talk about that parabola, right, that rainbow, we wanna make sure that we, in this particular case, that we shorten the toe just a little bit, okay? Um, and the same thing goes for the left. I'll give you guys a better view from the top. So, you know, something that throughout the years that I've realized is that in people with a Morton's type foot, the Morton's toe, the second, you know, the long second toe, a lot of patients develop this little pocket of adipose tissue, little fat, right? You guys see this? And a lot of the patients that were coming in, you know, they were not happy with the appearance of this little pocket. And that's sort of how we, we started, you know, coining the term the little toe tuck. Um, the toe tuck, or also known as the debulking of the adipose tissue, what we basically do is using plastic surgery techniques, we're able to actually just remove this little, this little bulge of tissue to bring symmetry to the toe. Because as everyone can see, I'll show everyone here, you see? And, and some women are not really happy with this little pocket actually little globules of fat. Same thing here, you see? It's worse on the left than on the right a little bit. Okay. So, you know, again, when we talk about toe, toe shortening, um, you know, this patient, um, I will definitely provide today uh, a post-operative video as well. You know, there are different ways on, on how we perform these procedures. There's not only one way. You know, there's an open traditional uh, approach. There's actually a minimally invasive approach. Um, some doctors, I think it's more doctor's preference how they actually perform the procedure. Some, you know, some doctors use wires. Some doctors leave um, some internal fixation or, or hardware inside the toe. There are, different, there are many different ways. What I learned from my mentors is always keep everything very simple. Simple is always better. Um, in this particular case, we're gonna do, just because also the patient um, has a little bit of a mallet toe, we're gonna use um, a little incision on the top here, just because I wanna try to also raise that tip of the toe that you guys can appreciate what I'm what I'm really saying on this this view here you see how the tip of the toe is kind of looking downwards so what we're gonna go ahead and do and that goes for both more so on the right than on the left so we're gonna go ahead and do that we are able to perform these procedures using our minimally invasive techniques where there are no incisions on the top but the only problem in doing that is actually, you know, try, you know, when we put the puzzle together, is the amount of shortening that, that we really want to achieve. That's where at the top of the list, when we talk about desired, you know, clinical outcomes, that's where we put the puzzle, all the pieces of the puzzle together. I hope I haven't confused anyone. Stand by everyone.